Hi sewing bees! I'm going to take you along with me and show you how I sew this muscle tank. It has these funky patchwork because I'll be using scrap fabric and old clothing. It's gonna be a great upcycling project. Let's get started! Here we have the scrap fabric. They're made of cotton jersey and dyed with indigo. We chose rather large pieces of scrap fabric, but you can also go for smaller pieces. It just means more patchwork. We'll be using our two-seam t-shirt pattern as the basis. Please go watch our two-seam t-shirt video where we explain everything in detail. To transform the t-shirt pattern into a muscle tank pattern, we need to get rid of the sleeves. To do that, we will replace the sleeve measurement with the across the shoulder measurement. Other measurements we will need to note down are of the shirt width, shirt length, sleeve width, and collar width. For simplicity's sake, we'll be cutting out two rectangles and then cut out the armholes and collar later on. In this case, we're cutting out two rectangles that are 55 cm by 75 cm, or 22 inches by 30 inches. Now that we know what size of fabric pieces we need, we can get on with patching the scrap fabric. The first step is to figure out how to puzzle the pieces up. Because we're using cotton jersey, we need to make sure the direction of stretch is going horizontal and the grain line is going vertical. Here we're measuring out the bottom edge of the fabric. It is more than twice of the shirt width, which is great. And then we measure for the length of the shirt. On one side it's sufficient, but here it comes up a bit short. So we will need to use another piece of scrap fabric to fill up the gap. Here is an overview of how we will be patching the fabric pieces up. To sew the pieces together, we lay one piece over the other, pin it together and sew the raw edge down with a zigzag stitch. You can also hand sew. Then we turn the fabric over, trim off the excess, and then sew the other raw edge down as well. We chose this seam because we don't want to have so many raw edges on the inside of the tank top. It also makes it reversible. Pretty cool, eh? Does anyone know if this seam has a name to it? This cotton jersey was at times difficult to sew with because of its stretchiness, but eventually we finished the patchwork. Yay! Now we can measure out the rectangles for the tank top. We like to be efficient and lazy with sewing, so instead of cutting out two rectangles, we're going to leave the rectangles connected and only cut away the excess. Are you still following? We then fold the fabric in half to create a tube. Measure the width and length of the tube to make sure it lines up with what we want. The short edge should equal to the width of the shirt, and the long edge should equal to the length of the shirt. Then sew up that seam on the long edge. Next up, using the sleeve width and collar width measurement, we can cut out the armhole and the neck hole. We freehanded because why not? Last step, we will sew the shoulder seams together with the same stitch we used before. And voila, we just made ourselves a muscle tank using only upcycled fabric. How cool is that? Thank you for joining us in the sewing sesh. Thank you. 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 Thank you.